Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video of how to litter box chain your rabbits. I'm just going to be sharing some tips and tricks that work for me and maybe they'll work for you. First, why would you want to litter box chain your rabbit? For some people the answer is simple, but for others they don't mind having to pick up after their rabbit every so often. Here's why I think every rabbit needs to be litter box trained. The first reason is hygiene. No matter how thoroughly and how deeply and how often you clean your rabbit's cage, there are going to be parts that you miss. And those parts, especially if your rabbit has urinated on them, are not going to be very hygienic. The second reason is for maintenance. Having to thoroughly and deeply clean out your rabbit's cage, which is what you'll have to do if you don't litter box clean them, is a very tedious and long process. If your rabbit is litter box cleaned, you only have to spot clean their cage about every other day and clean parts of their litter box out about every day. The last reason you should litter box train your rabbit is for health. When you litter box train your rabbit, you'll be able to easily monitor and you'll know that if they unexpectedly stop using their litter boxes, that something is wrong. Also, you'll be able to better know the state of their feces and urine when you're cleaning out the litter box, thus knowing their health. Now on to the litter box training. One of the most important things while litter box training your rabbit is the hay. Now the hay is what's going to encourage your rabbit to want to go in their litter box. And while they're eating their hay, they're going to naturally poop in their litter box, which is going to start the whole cycle. For this, I recommend using a nice green, long strand of hay. If you can, go to a local farm and get farm fresh hay, because it's always the best. But if you have to buy from a pet store, I wouldn't recommend any other brand other than Oxbow. I use Oxbow alfalfa hay because my bunny is still really young. Mix with some Oxbow botanical hay adds a little bit of a treat. I recommend mixing in your main hay with a little bit of treat hay, especially in the first stages of litter box training. This is going to encourage them to eat more hay, thus poop in their litter box. Rabbits naturally poop while they're eating, so I recommend having a hay rack either in your litter box or above it. This way, while they're eating their hay, they're going to start pooping. Also, during the time of litter box training, make sure you avoid having any different hay toys or hay stuff toys. This means that while your rabbit is playing with the toy, that it might poop somewhere other than their litter box. Besides a nice green hay and a hay rack, you're also going to need the proper type of litter. If you're just starting litter box training, I recommend having a nice soft hay that's nice on the rabbit's feet, like hair fresh. This is going to encourage them to want to go in their litter box. I, as you can see, have a pelleted bedding, which is fine, but it's not going to be as encouraging or as nice as something like Carefresh. When choosing beddings, I recommend staying away from wood bedding altogether. Pine and cedar especially. These are really soft woods that have a lot of dust, which is really bad for your rabbit's respiratory system. But you can use something like aspen. I personally don't recommend it because I don't find they're very good at odor control. I personally use Marshall's Premium Ferret Litter, which is a paper-based litter marketed towards ferrets. It also works great for rabbits though. It has great odor control and it's made out of 100% recycled paper. It's also flushable and biodegradable and great for compost bins. In addition, it also claims to being up to 400% more absorbent than clay-based litters. While finely shredded litters like KT Clean and Cozy hair fresh, or even aspen wood shavings can be nice. I always prefer pelleted, pelleted litters. I find that they're much easier to clean and it's much easier to pick out the soiled bedding from the clean bedding. I also like pelleted litters because they don't get stuck to my rabbit's fur and they don't drag them all over their cage. If you don't want to try the Marshalls Premium Ferret Litter, some other litters that are also great are Yesterday's News and Wood Stove Pellets. Wood stove pellets are especially great as you can buy them in bulk from our horse suppliers and they're really inexpensive. Another thing that actually takes a huge role in litter training is your rabbit's diet. If your rabbit's diet isn't healthy, 
their litter habits won't be either. A lot of the food marketed towards rabbits are colorful mixed foods, which are actually really bad. In colorful mixed foods, your rabbits can pick out the pieces that he or she likes and are going to probably be eating the most sugary and unhealthy pieces while leaving the healthiest ones aside. I always recommend getting a food that's all the same. Your rabbit's pellets should also smell fresh and be a nice green color. They should also be mainly based with a grass hay, such as Timothy hay or orchard grass. While litter training, it's also important to keep treats to a minimum and try not to switch up their veggie schedule too much. I personally feed Oxbow Essentials adult rabbit food, which is just a Timothy hay pelleted food. I personally don't see the need to feed alfalfa hay rabbit pellets to any age rabbit, so I recommend just feeding the grass hay ones. Let me know if you'd like a video more in depth about why I don't feed my baby rabbit alfalfa hay pellets. Litter training your rabbit doesn't stop at the right diet. It's also about a consistent diet. Make sure you're feeding your rabbit at the same time every single day. This is going to drastically improve their litter habits because they themselves are going to learn when they need to use the restroom and when they don't. Also, make sure you're feeding the same amounts every day. I know a lot of people like to guesstimate how much they feed the rabbit, and this is totally fine. Just remember while litter training to be a little extra cautious. The last thing to consider is your litter box itself. First, it's placement. Make sure you place your litter box in the corner of the rabbit's cage. This is where rabbits naturally like to do their business, so having it like this is going to make it a much easier process. Also, if your rabbit is new, don't have their litter box wide in the open. Maybe have it underneath a hidey house or towards the back of their cage so they'll feel more secured using it. Also, don't change the placement of your litter box and make sure that you keep it consistent. If you keep changing where you place your litter box, this is only going to confuse your rabbit more. Also remember, if you have a really large cage, you might need more than one litter box to have your rabbit fully litter box trained and this isn't a bad thing. Also, check the size of your litter box. Make sure your rabbit's litter box is large enough for them to fully circle around and fit in comfortably. Also, look at the height. A lot of litter boxes for rabbits come with these high sides and it's hard for the rabbit to jump into. If you have a young rabbit, you might need to cut a hole in it so they can easily get in. A few other things that I recommend having are a pooper scooper. These are really great because you can easily clean your rabbit's litter box daily. When you're litter box training your rabbit, don't ever do full litter box changes. Instead, just change parts of it every single day. This way, their full scent never leaves the litter box, so they'll always remember to go inside. Also, one of these dustpans and brooms are really handy to have. If your rabbit has a few accidents, you can easily sweep them up and put them straight back into the litter, litter box. Before I ended the video, I wanted to take some time to answer a few frequently asked questions. When should I start litter training my rabbit? Well, I recommend litter training your rabbit as soon as you get them. A lot of people think litter training is really difficult, when in reality, rabbits are already very hygienic animals and they already kind of come litter trained. They already want to do their business in one corner and offering them a litter tray is just going to help them with that habit. The younger you start, the better results you're going to have. When will they be fully trained? Well, this really depends on the rabbit. Some rabbits are actually never going to fully be litter box trained. My rabbit personally still has a few accidents outside his litter box that I still have to clean up, but I don't mind it. Rabbits have less control over their poop than they do their pee, so don't be surprised to see a few little poopies outside of their litter box. Also, some rabbits are naturally cleaner than others, so don't be too upset if your rabbit doesn't get the concept immediately. Just be patient and consistent and soon enough they will. Is one gender easier to train than another? No. While some rabbits may be easier to train than another rabbit, this has nothing to do with the gender. However, I will say that fixed males and females, like neutered males or spayed females, are going to be much easier to litter box train than an unfixed rabbit. This is because rabbits, before they have been desexed, have a lot more hormones and are going to want to mark their territory. I'm not going to tell you that it's impossible to train an unfixed rabbit, it's just a little bit harder. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and that my tips could help you out. Remember to be patient and to be consistent. Also, let me know what litter cleaning tips you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.